All right, somebody asked me uh, if I could make a video on how to program the uh, Arduino and the Relay. Um, so I don't have my computer here, so I'm not gonna show you how to program it uh, with, the, with the software, but it's pretty easy. You just figure out which pin you want to go on and off and uh, you write it in there. You can figure that out on, on YouTube. Um, so first thing is uh, connecting the Arduino to the relay and comes with this little strip here and you connect them all in. And then the last wire I separated and this one goes to five volts. You can see down there. It's kind of hard to, to tell, but it's going into five volts. This other one was, the black one is the one that goes into ground. So this goes into five volts. And five volts is the thing that powers it. So it's really just a small amount of electricity. And it it is what controls the relays from by opening and closing. So this, this doesn't power this. This powers this. And this is the, the power for this. Um, so you can see here, this is the type of relay that I am using. Those are the specs. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so you get this connected. Um, <clears throat> you can you, you, you program it to open and close at the timings that you want. And then uh, yeah, when you connect it in, you should you hear if you hear how it's clicking, um, that tells you that it is working. So first, first step is getting the relay to click. Second step is getting the solenoid to click. So the solenoid, you can see here it says 4.8 watts, 12 volt DC. Um, so I found, I found a power strip. This is just an old power strip that I wasn't using for a hard drive that was very old. And you can see here that the output is 5 volt DC 2.5 amps and then 12 volt DC 1.5 amps. And so you have to use, this says amps and this says watts. Uh, so you have to use Ohm's law and you have to basically convert it, 12 volt, 1.5 amps, how many watts is that? And I think it's a little bit over five in this case, but it's, it seems to work fine. Um, so you you want to find you want to find a, an adapter that's as close to what it says on the solenoid as possible. So then you take the end, you cut off the end or whatever it was. This thing went into a hard drive, so I just cut the end and I pulled it back. You can see that there are three wires here. There's a there's a tw there's a 12 volt, there's a 5 volt, and then there's the uh, ground. Um, so I cut off the 5 volt and I put on the 12 and I put on the ground. Okay, the next step is splicing it in the middle. And so you can see here, all I did was I left the other two. I took off the the jacket of the cable. And then I, I cut I cut the yellow wire in half. I pulled it back. And then you connect it into the relay. And one end goes in here and the other end goes in there. And then you screw them down. And then uh, Yeah, and then you can see that when the relay is triggered. See how it moves there? That's because it's getting power and it's opening the valve. So that's how you know it's it's working. So get the relay to first connect the relay, get the relay to click, uh, then connect in the power adapter. Get it into your solenoid. Make sure that it's the right uh, wattage and voltage. Uh, and I don't think this is a very good example because I think I'm using the wrong 
wattage and voltage, but it, it seems to work okay. But it is a little bit hot, so that's not good. Um, but it worked for, you know, a month, so. But yeah, you probably wanna get that right. And then, uh, yeah, just get this thing to open and close. And you know it's opening and closing when it's moving. Uh, and you can feel it too. Um, so that's it. Um, I also programmed this one. This one's a slightly different solenoid, but it's it's basically the same thing. Um, this one was 6.5 watts, 12 volt, 500 milliamps. And I actually was able to just get it working with this. Five volt, one amp. And it was opening and shutting fine. And this is a, I think this is powers a, an old cell phone. So you have to look around and find the right kinds of adapters and you end up figuring it out. But you have to use Ohm's law to make sure that it's about right. The thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to overpower it a lot. And that's it. Um, so yeah, this is, this is my setup here. Um, I, uh, I transitioned from hydroponics into soil and um, I'm doing a living soil here. And right now the lights are off, but uh, we got a bunch of different types of plants, a lot of tomatoes. And then I got a little watering system here. Uh, there's a fan up in the corner. Uh, you can see I got that fan coming out. It's going outside. And then I'm taking water from a hose outside and that's going into this water filter, uh, which is just a carbon filter. And uh, it's to get out the chlorine. And then that goes back in comes here and I power a little sprinkler thing here and uh, I don't even have it on a solenoid right now I just come in once a day and I open it up so I might actually use this solenoid um, in Arduino to just automate this because um, that would be nicer so yeah uh, if you have any questions let me know um, it's pretty easy it's not that hard you can do it. I'm using an Alegu, this um, relay, and yeah, it's power strip and this solenoid seems to work well. This one's fine too, but the problem with it is that it comes without these little ends, and so you have to buy them. So I kind of like this one better. But the good thing about this is that it's got these wires on the end, so you, I don't know, you can get a little bit more space. Um, and I didn't like these connectors. Either. I, I don't know how to do those. Anyways, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.